Hello and welcome. Today we are going to dig into the music world a little bit. I know most of you are going to say, we don't offer stereo equipment. Of course, you are correct. Most auto parts sellers don't get into this area, and if they do, it's very limited. So why are we gonna talk about it today? Because I want you to change the way you look at serving the customer. Agreed, you're not going to sell them a head unit or speakers. However, there is a lot more to installing or upgrading a system than just changing the radio or the speakers. Let's start with the basics. Most systems have a head unit or radio, if you will. Next, there will probably be an amplifier or two or three or even more. Then, of course, there are speakers and in some cases, a subwoofer. These newer upgraded systems take lots of power. That's where we come in. The power has to get to where the audio file needs it. By the way, that's what these sound junkies call themselves. Likely, it will be in the trunk. Yes, I said the trunk. That means big wire from the front of the vehicle all the way to the back. Many use an extra battery in the trunk. Cable and lots of it here for you to sell. Now, some high quality cable ends and probably a crimping tool. Test equipment is also required digital test probes and digital volt ohm meters are all excellent suggestions. Putting all this together requires lots of crimp fittings or solder. If they are using solder, be sure to sell them a good solder gun or a mini torch. Either way they go, they will be in need of plenty of heat shrink. Now I mentioned this battery in the trunk. How is this battery going to get charged? Well, with the higher output alternator, you are going to spec for them. Again, with plenty of cabling, ends, and heat shrink. When you are specifying wire for this project, bigger is always better. 18 gauge wire will have little application for this install. Big wire is better. These systems draw amps and lots of them. Safety is always a concern with this kind of current. Be sure they have fuse holders or circuit breakers with necessary relays for the system. And you thought you had nothing to sell these people. There is always an opportunity when someone goes under the hood or the dash. Thanks for being with us and we'll see you next time.